everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going around to different garage sales and we're picking up things for us to flip online. And if you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Margaret, me and my partner, Juan. We go to garage sales, estate sales, storage locker auctions, and we pick up things to sell, not only on eBay, Etsy, and Mercari, other places like that online, but we also have started selling on Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, and uh, places that we can sell bigger items locally. So today's video, you're gonna see a mix of things and I'll let you know uh, if we're selling this locally or if we're going to be putting it up for sale online. This garage sale was kind of hectic. This first one that we went to, it was packed with stuff and it was really, really crowded. And part of me just kind of gets overwhelmed because I, I know I'm missing stuff and I just see so much that it kind of makes it hard for me to, to focus. So I do find this really cool luminary. This is a stand-up metal luminary, which is got, means it's got holes punched in it. You put a candle in there and it you know, lets out the, the cool light. I like selling luminaries. This one's kind of big, um, but there are some that are up. I couldn't find the exact same one, but there are some like this one's up on Mercari for 29 bucks. And then there's another one that's on Poshmark that's 26. This one, These are a little bit smaller than the one that I picked up. But I'm probably going to go ahead, I'll be listing it to sell it locally and to sell it online. And we'll be listening in at the garage sale here in a second uh, because I can't remember what I bought it for. This garage sale did not have any prices on stuff and we do end up getting a couple, let me just look at all this stuff, it's just overwhelming. Uh, but we do end up getting a couple of broken neon bar signs, bar lights, uh, which I'll show you here in a second. But if you see anything I miss, and this is the thing too about this garage sale, there were piles and piles of stuff, and so I start I, th I start going through one pile, everything's fine. I start going through another pile, somebody's like, that's my pile! I'm like, oh, I didn't know, sorry man. Like this pile, I was like, oh, I like this body form, and this is kind of cool, and the lady's like, mm-mm, mine. So then I come over here, I'm like, okay, fine, I'm going to go over here. Nobody, Nobody's looking at this pile over here, which is very full of stuff. So I, I, like I say, and then I didn't know what the prices were. So I didn't know, like, okay, do I, you just, at that point, you just start making a pile, right? Um, but I feel like that's a, is that a radio? No, it's a binder. Okay, I was like, why did I pick that up? It's a binder, that's why. All right, so let's listen, listen in a little bit at this garage sale. Would you do five for the pair? I would. Okay, and you I've got, got it. I've got these two. Oh, cute, cute. Okay, so five, hey, Mom. Are you six, seven, eight. Wait, it's already sold. Yeah, I know. I know. Are you trying to get some of these things? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because you don't have any room in your room. Actually, I have a lot of Alright, so you two bucks. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 I have not seen any 
So here's a better look at these two beer signs. One is a Guinness Draft and one is a Newcastle Brown Ale. They are both broken, so we did list them locally for $50 a piece. We bought them for $2.50, so $5 for the pair of them. I listed them both for $50 each, and we ended up having somebody offer us $40 a piece, and so we sold them both for $80 uh, to the same person. Maybe they could fix them up, I don't know, but they bought them. We've already made a really good profit on them. Back in the Huh? No. <laughs> Five for both of them. Oh really? Oh, that was good. Did you want them or no? Um. Well, they don't work though. So. Somebody might be able to fix them. Yeah. Yeah. Five for the both of them. Yeah. For the chance. It's fun. garage sale we've actually hit before this couple I feel like they have a garage sale every weekend it always ends up popping up uh, but sometimes they have different things frequently their items are way too expensive uh, because they've got I don't know collectible and they have really cool collectibles and designer quote designer purses I don't know if they're real or fake or not but they they certainly have been priced high enough uh, but sometimes we find things when we come through here and sometimes we do not but I do pick up a couple things uh, this time. So one of the things I end up picking up is this little box that's got it's a Maleg Mouse Baby Twins. I just thought it was adorable. I didn't really know what it was, but I paid a dollar or two for this. And what I think I'll be able to sell them for is probably around 30 bucks. I didn't see, maybe I saw one up for sale on eBay, but I saw a couple sold. 29 36 best offer was taken on this other one and then there was maybe one that was still up for sale uh yeah here we go this one is baby twins they were up for sale for 40 bucks i just thought they were cute they looked like a little matchbox so chances are you know i'll pop it up for about 30 35 bucks just based on what i've seen that has sold already and what is up there currently you know only having one uh, I was looking at this Louis Vuitton wallet. I mean, he had all these Louis Vuitton wallets and purses and like designer stuff. I, do, I mean, he says they were real, but I am not really good at, I mean, yeah, there was a lot of stuff. I, I can't let it play because there's music playing in the background. So the, the uh, YouTube will flag it for copyrights if I have it playing with the music in the background. So this little Le Creuset pump, uh, it's not it ended up not being a pump but like a wine stopper uh, was three bucks but I go and check in the car whenever I'm loading everything up and I realize oh, you know what I didn't even look inside the box and it was empty so luckily I, ch I checked that out before we left uh, so that I was able to get my money back and swap it out for some other things so those the liquor say the that was actually on his dollar table so well because it was empty uh, but I kept the box anyway. Let me keep the box. So I'll probably still try to sell the box because Le Creuset is a really fancy schmancy brand that, that can go for a lot of money, which I'll show you here in a second. So I'm paying for my stuff, looking at these fancy bags over here. Um, oh, yeah, he's got some jewelry. So I was like, let me see your jewelry. And then I was wanting the case, but he didn't want to take the jewel. He, he was like, yeah, yeah, the, I, I'll sell the case to you. I was like, well, can you take the jewelry out of it? Oh, well, no, I need to, I need to keep the jewelry in the case to sell it. Um, but but the, I, I basically, he wanted me to buy all of it. I was like, well, I don't really want the jewelry in it. I just want the case. No, I got to hang on to the case to keep the jewelry in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't, you know, everybody's got their own thing, right? Everybody's got their, yeah, Juan found nothing. He found nothing. But, like I said, um, when I go back, and swap it out. I realized there were some things on the dollar table, which I'll show you here in a second. This is the Mr. It was a reproduction Mr. Peanut uh, bank, but he wanted I don't know. He wanted like forty or fifty bucks for it. It was kind of nuts. Ha ha, Mr. Peanut, get it? Nuts. Ha ha ha. Um, this is why I'm not a comedian, y'all. So yeah, this is the dollar table, and I do end up, you know, being able to swap out the Le Creuset box because I uh, didn't have 
what I needed in it. But before I go, I noticed that there's this light box there. Uh, it's underneath that OtterBox cover. And so I think, oh, is this a buck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this. So I do end up getting this. Uh, and as you can see, they sell from, you know, 20, 30 bucks or so. These I had that I saw on the sold. They have the original box that one sold for almost 40 bucks from the UK. But I figured, you know what? For a dollar, I am gonna buy this. This is, this is a dollar too? Yes, everything there is one dollar. Light box. You can't sell other box on eBay though. Thank you. Thank you. That works very good. Oh, thanks. Is this like an electric ice cream scooper? That's funny. I bet that would sell. So I wanted to go ahead and point out the logo, the design and everything so that you could see, you know, these Le Creuset wine stoppers, as you can see, they're, they're selling for $44. So it's something to keep an eye out for. And if you're not familiar with the brand Le Creuset, it's definitely something to keep your eyes out for. Cause as you can see, some of these different um, Dutch ovens and pans and things can sell for 40, 50 plus dollars, just depending on what the item is and the size. It's in here. Huh? It's not even in here. Let me my money back. Okay. I just bought this from you, but it's not in there. It's okay. I'm sorry. Do you want to get something else or do you want me to get one dollar back? <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, somebody. Yeah, so I ended up getting the electric ice cream scooper that was on the table for the dollar, and they sell for about twenty dollars. So not a bad trade-off on that one. Yeah, I checked that earlier. There's something in there. Yeah, there was somebody, something in there. Unless somebody yeah. took it out and set it down. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. All right, thanks. I'll this was an interesting garage sale. No one was in the garage when we first showed up, so we we're really getting a chance to look around at everything before the owners came out and uh, gave us a, a talk through of what was available and what was not available for sale. We didn't end up buying anything because the prices were just a little bit more than we could make money on. But let's take a look at what we would have bought and what we would have sold it for. Sale. Yes. This is what you got here? Yes. Those are like they're like an architectural lighting. Like you're working over that. How much is it? Uh, also uh this, this, and this. Like this little oh, shelf can, yeah. and this mirror. How much is your little freezer? The freezer's not for sale. Oh, oh okay. It's just how much are the water here? This <laughs> <laughs> this thing, this thing, this decor thing. What's your problem floor babe? The yeah. mirror and the shelf and what we have here in the center. Yeah, they're just up there so we can take pictures. Better. How much is your doll? Um, the what is it? Baby gate. Oh, what did you list it as? Uh, I always go based on that because I don't remember. The kennel? Do you also have the kennel? Oh no. The dog is, uh, They're trained to be quiet, but they're starting to go back to barking all the time. So oh. They're Wait, ventriloquist what? dolls. Are they? Yeah. yeah. Except the monkey is not one. Are How about yeah, your yeah. Um, pottery? Um, your then, yeah. platter thing. This casserole dish, yeah. Pottery. This, I think it's a it's set like, together. Let me pull up his thing because. I was trying to get like 45 each. He got the shot. 
Are these like vintage or something? Yeah, those are vintage. So that's like a Charlie MacArthur. He, I think he's supposed to have a top hat, I think. But... What, do you stick your hand up his ass or something? No, it's <laughs> uh, right there. Where did your uncle touch you? The baby gate right is there. 10. <laughs> the set is 10. So the baby gate and the pioneer Yeah, we were thinking they'd be good for like a like Halloween thing, like set them up in is your it? house. Or... Yeah, but that would just creep me out. Is this stuff on your shelf for sale too, or? Well, no, so. not this stuff. This we still need to go through. This oh, is just okay. the stuff that we knew for sure we needed to get rid of. Gotcha. I don't know, what do you think about these? No? How much are they? I was doing 45 each. Does it work? I think it's busted though. His mouth gets stuck though. Yeah, they're kind of, I think the way they were made was to like, not to like, be like, it's supposed to be like gentle touch. Yeah. Kind of the way they design it. Well, you're out on that one, Juan. Oh, man. <laughs> no gentle touches there. Is this a photo booth? What is that? I know it's not for sale, but I'm like, what is it? What? Oh, that? Oh, that's for our plants. Oh, okay. Is that wrong weed? No, it's normal now. You don't need to just buy it. just doing it now. Uh, I don't know, honey. You don't see anything? Yeah, what's, what's your whistle? Yeah. Is there a, is you have a gun in there or is it just like gun case? It's just like a case for either like a gun or a, uh, just like a musical instrument. Thing. Right. You know, next time guys. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Appreciate it, guys. Thank Have you. a good day. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with our garage sales today, you guys. Sometimes, you know, just walking away is the better deal. If things are priced way too high, then uh, there's just not enough profit to be made on the items. Plus, some of the items that they had just were not going to be quick sellers, other than some of the local stuff. I mean, that if they had sold a big dog crate, that would have been something we could have sold locally for a really good profit. Baby gates we like to have on hand because we can usually sell a couple of them at a time. So we buy them for $5 or less, usually around two or three bucks a piece. And then we can sell them for 15, but frequently people buy multiple of those baby gates from us at a time. So we might be in it, you know, five or $6 for two and then sell them for $30. So it really works out great. If you haven't yet, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you spending the time to watch our videos, but go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when we put out new videos or from time to time when we go live. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye.